What's going on guys, Dirty here back with another tutorial for getting homebrew on your Nintendo 3DS system. Today we're going over menu hacks on 11.0 because they just recently updated it so now we can all access it. So shout out to uh, Smealum and Yellow8, uh, both you guys are doing amazing work on the homebrew front along with anyone else putting making hacks such as I know like Shiny Quagsire and then a few others. Uh, I think his name's Pluto would be the one that made the freaky forms. But a lot of people in general are doing a lot of great things so we all have access to homebrew. So be sure to thank them on Twitter. I'll leave all their links in the description. Anyway, so now that hopefully you've got some other form of uh, hacks working, if you wanted to see browser hacks, the link will be in the description. It was in my, uh, my just my most recent video before this one. Uh, so next we're gonna be covering menu hacks. Now the first thing you need to do to get menu hacks working on your 3DS is you need to have your starter, uh, starter kit with the menu hacks 3.0 installer which if you downloaded mine from my last video for browser hacks you do already have it installed so you're good to go there uh, if you have it from some other method the starter kit might not have menu hacks 3.0 installer which i'll leave a link to that to download it yourself and add it to your own starter kit or you can just add you know or you can just download my starter kit either one either way works and i'm going to try and make it as easy as possible here so once you have your files installed you want to go ahead and go on to the home menu home menu settings if i can words so that'd be great and you want to change your theme. And the reason you want to change your theme is because if you've never done it before and you have no custom themes, your 3DS doesn't have what's called a theme, I don't even know what it's called, it's like a theme status file or something like that. Something that basically tells your 3DS that you've changed uh, themes and what theme to load. So that's the file that gets taken advantage of during menu hacks. And the only way to turn it, or the way to turn it on is to just, you know, click any, any theme and it should go. I've already changed my theme countless times doing doing menu hack setup, so obviously I already have it, so I'm just going to switch it back to, I'm going to switch it back to, you know, use a theme, and we're good. So now we need to get to the homebrew channel using our primary method. If you have browser hacks, that's the way you're going to go with. I've got my custom firmware method right there, as you can see, uh, so I just pop right in, and no, I, unfortunately, I will not be making a tutorial for custom firmware setup. I'm, well, first of all, it's, you know, encouraging piracy if I do. But uh, if you do want to hear about something like that, you can probably reach me out and reach out to me on Twitter or just look up a guide. They have them all over the place. Don't yeah, actually don't reach out to me on Twitter. They have guides all over the place um, for you to be able to find out how to get that set up yourself. But anyway, moving on down here, we've got ourselves the menu hacks manager folder that is in the starter kit uh, for you to use. So we're just going to open that right on up. And assuming everything's in the right place, it should give you the option, as you can see here, I'm going to take my camera down for just a second. Uh, okay, I need to take my camera down right there. As you can see, it's saying this is to install uh, Homebrew, or um, it's going to install the Menu Hacks 3.0 on your 3DS, and you can choose if you want to just install it straight up, or you don't want to do it, or whatever. So I'm just going to click Install, and uh, Getting System Info, Skip, normally you should just press B. Um, so no, we don't want to skip the rot bin payload setup in this case. So I'm going to press B. So it's going to set up that payload, making sure that everything loads properly. And assuming it, this may take a little bit, um, I think this might take longer than a few seconds. Uh, so unfortunately I'll probably cut, uh, I'll probably cut the editing out here unless it's done. No, it's probably gonna, it's probably gonna take a minute. Oh, there it actually, never mind. There it is. So, install finished successfully. So now that it's installed it successfully, I should just be able to reboot my 3DS and just hold down L and load the homebrew channel from there. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go press A to continue, and we've already got it installed. Let's hit B and start to go back to the home menu, uh, to the homebrew menu, I should say, and then we're just gonna hit start and go reboot. And upon, once the screen turns black, we're gonna hold down the L button for about seven seconds is about what it's gonna take. So, okay, well, that clearly didn't work. Apparently you need to turn it off all the way and then turn it back on and then try to, apparently you can't do that right out of homebrew. Uh, then again, that would be kind of silly because why are you trying to get back into homebrew right after you just left? Anyway, so let me turn off my DS system really quick and turn it back on. And now that it's turning back on, I'm gonna hold down the L button for a few seconds and it should load uh, homebrew just fine, but holding down L. So I let go, and it and I let go of the button while I was doing this part, and it does get into the homebrew method or the homebrew menu successfully. And as you can see, we have home menu hacks working like a charm. So now, if you've watched both my last two videos, you've got browser hacks going and you've got menu hacks going. Um, I may make some some tutorial videos for some other methods in the future. Let me know in the description if there's any um, methods that you want me to go into detail on, or if there's any 
uh, applications related to homebrew that you want me to try and explain a little better uh, or give you a kind of a walkthrough for. I'm pretty much open for anything. I just like making these tutorials for you guys. Also, of course, leave any qu questions about getting this set up down in the description. I'll be sure to help as many of you as I can. So with that, this is Jodor signing out. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Happy homebrewing. Bye-bye.